Hello everybody, welcome back to the next City Fix episode with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. We have videos every other day where I fix up your cities. And there's a pinned post below, a pinned comment to tell you how to send in your cities. So this city, the city of Lakewood, was sent in by Destroyer X. Thank you very much. And the traffic isn't terrible, but there's some stuff that can be done to help this city improve. So we're at 53 three percent at the moment and there are some hot spots but it's not a bad city it's sort of spread out you've got some mass transit in we'll come back to the mass transit that could uh, that could uh, have a look at as well but there's a few things that we can do to, to get things running more smoothly so i like the way you've used proper junctions as well and you've got some nice roads that cut across like here from one area to another to save them going through the main sort of highway and, and stuff like that so it's not too bad let's see if we can pick out some of the areas that are struggling and see what we can do so let's look for the worst let's look for the worst so this bit along here is coming down there is backing up is backing up it's hitting here so what have we got industry what a surprise an industry area they are always pretty rough for traffic and look at that they're all coming into the cargo train terminal okay so all of these cars are coming in here they're fighting for access to this area and then they're trying to get around there okay what i would do is first of all i wouldn't have that built in here but what, like i always try to do in these episodes is i try not to just completely rebuild your city for you i try and just sort of go with what we've got oh you've actually got no way you've actually already got one way going in and one way coming around and you've also got coal power plants you've got all the deliveries for the coal trucks coming down here and every single truck known to man wanting to get over here as well for this so actually i do think we need to move this so where does the train line come in train line comes in there we could just have this over here somewhere okay so a couple of changes made in this area we put our cargo train terminal up here with a little one-way road systems so they can drop off and leave it's super super busy at the moment uh, let's just adjust this junction here i think we've got this so i only want these to be able to turn in here and not go across I only want you guys to turn in there and not go across. And we're going to keep this junction open. So move, so move in. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. There we go. That one there. Uh, this is getting a bit busy because at the moment, all of this traffic's trying to sort of leave. We've got a roundabout here. And I put a few more crossroads in. And I've also moved your metro and your bus stop that was here away from this area. And stopped pedestrians crossing over the top there. So your metro is now down here somewhere in the middle. There it is. So they can easily get to this area. You could always add another metro stop up here for the people that live here. But I'll let you do that. But at the minute, this is just super, super busy. They're just getting their way through. I've also set these here. So these are all give way. So this should just keep moving along there. And then also what I'm going to do is say you can just enter that junction as much as you like. Keep moving, keep moving and get you out of here. There's no bus stops along here, which I checked for as well. And I want that to keep moving there. And I'm pretty sure I've set this one. Yeah, so you're going to get priority to keep moving. So I don't know why you keep stopping there. Let's just check there's no vanilla stop signs. There is. Look, there we go. Vanilla stop sign. Always catches you out. Let's just check there's none others anywhere else in our little area. And that should hopefully just keep moving smoothly. Where are you guys going up here? Oh, I see. You're going up here to get through to this area. Okay, that's fine. It ends up sort of stopping here because you've got two roads leading up to here. Just wondering whether we could do something there. Anybody coming up here is coming back down and just sort of blocking that off. Do you know what? I'd like to just keep that moving and not have the cars cross over. So we're also going to do this here. We're going to say you can only go that way. And we're going to say you can only go that way. And we're going to say you can only go that way. So you two are going to merge in. We could even have one of our asymmetrical roads in there. That would actually be quite handy just there it is just to keep things sliding along so if we do that and turn it around the other way there we go 
Excellent. And then we just set that up again. There we go. And I've run that asymmetrical row right up to this junction. We've got one going off left and one going straight on. That'll be fine. Just to sort of keep that moving a bit. What are we up to? 73%. Not too bad. So it's probably going to take a while for this to sort of unclog. It's been so busy. But it's certainly moving a lot quicker than it was before. We'll come back and check that out. This traffic was queued all the way up to here, but it's moving nicely. Good. Let's find another area we can take a look at. Okay, so just moving up the hill from where we were, you've got this road here coming in, this national road that winds its way up the hill. And it's about the only way you've got coming in and out of this area up here. And you've also got Chester Amusement Park, which is going to have a lot of people um yeah and it's sort of slowing down coming in it's probably a simple little fix here i haven't checked this junction yet yeah you want to give these guys priority coming in i would say they give way and both of those give way again normally with a big sort of road coming in like that i would have a roundabout just to keep things moving along nicely but you do have your uh tram going along this main road which wouldn't necessarily help with a roundabout but that can hopefully assist that little area there over here in applegate square you've got this nice little junction here which is good so the cars can go straight over and leave if they wish or come down to join this roundabout every now and again that sort of backs up and slows down i was just going to check your your roads coming on and off here let's have a look yeah you need to give way just to help things move a little bit smoother there we go and that one there and then also let's have a look yeah we want this to keep moving around as well so let's put those on that one's already done that one there that one there's probably already done and that one there's fine just to keep it going they also seem to keep stopping there and i bet i bet there is a hidden junction stop sign no there isn't Okay, well, the other thing is this one here. We can say, yeah, carry on through. Don't stop. Just keep that moving. And we'll do the same over here as well. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. And that will just run nicely. Okay, and just over here, you've got this sort of junction here. I mean, this is really slowing down your traffic. Uh, I would even just use the Move It mod there. Just to put a little bit more of a bend in that. Let's just move that out a bit and we can maybe put a curve. We can put that curve going the other way just to help the cars that are going around that corner. There we go. Not to slow down as much, which is much, much better. You've got this sort of turning lane going off there. What we could do just to help those guys is just say this one here is the turning off lane. There we go. And you can go straight on. They can, whoops, let's try that again. <laughs> You're going to spin around. And you can easily pick which lane you want to go to there. Let's just check that that's okay. We can say lane switching, lane switching. Yep. There we go. And when they've thought about it a bit, <laughs> they can go along. And it's not going to hold up the traffic behind them. That's it. And then we'll go straight through like that. That is quite a sharp turn, though. But at least those slowing down for that aren't going to hitch up the cars behind them and then coming over here you've got quite a busy junction this this road here is the only way yeah in and out for all of these but you've got this highway right here so um you could just add on here i mean let's have a look um yeah let's do this one here so a nice little road going out just to help them and then let's have a look. You could even take that and say go page up, up over the top and just help that go to the other side. So if they wish to, to do that, they can. If that gets busy, stick a four lane road afterwards, give them a slip lane. I'm sure you've seen me do that lots of times in other videos. And this little bit here is, I mean, it's hard to see because of all the park cars, but you've got lots of busy, busy stuff going on. I would definitely add a small roundabout into there. It's going to get rid of a couple of buildings, but there we go. That's just the way we have to do it. Are they all going to disappear? I think they will. Let's get rid of that, 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 that. This and this. Just check there's no zones. Too close. Yeah, that can go. Anything there can go. Yeah, everything else, that's probably a little bit close. We'll get rid of that. Just to keep that moving around. Um, again, you've got junctions that are quite close. 
to that junction. So I would definitely say you give way and you keep moving through just to keep that traffic going on that highway. And yeah, I'll just do the same over here, even though it's only a little tiny road. So there we go. And say, so just keep moving through, just keep moving through. And there we go. What's going on with this road here? Oh, my goodness me. That is a road and a half. We're just going to lower this one here. Just a tiny bit. That's going to make it an interesting roundabout. We'll lower that one as well. Oh, <laughs> my days. And we'll just move that back a little bit so it's not too hawky-borky. There we go. Excellent. So that's going to free up that most definitely. Oh, my goodness. Things are getting so bad in this industry area. Even the disaster response building can't cope with what's going on. Oh, dear. This is pretty rough. <laughs> this is pretty rough. Well, the fire engine guys are there. They're trying their best. <laughs> I'm not sure they're going to be able to put it out, though. Oh, my life. Who's going to rebuild the disaster response unit building when it collapses? That is the question. Who is this guy? You're the place's last hope, Fireman. Oh, he's gone. He's given up. He's managed to put it out. Well done. What a guy. Right, you've got this little industry area up here. It's right by this really big main arterial road that you've got going through here. But this has got no connections to it. It's got to come down here through this road. All along here. And then join over here, which is quite a way away. You could just sort of help by giving these guys some ways in and ways out. Um, which way is the traffic going? It's going that way. Okay, so you could have a road going in there, coming off of that side. And then if you wanted to help them to leave, let's just see what's going to be the easiest way to do it. We could sort of go off here. Try not to mess up your electrical thing. Page up. Okay, I'm going to have to put that back in again. And then curve that around over there. And just to help them get in. <laughs> That's not really high enough, is it, for the cars underneath? Let's just lift that up a bit. There we go. And then we'll say to this one... Yeah, we'll put this one up a little bit as well. So it's not too bad. And then I'll fix your electricity. There we go. I've just added it in there. I, <laughs> I don't know which way I thought the roads were going. But that'll do for now. That'll do for now. Let's just hook up your power system there. So you're just letting them go in and out and have another way of doing so so these junctions here i mean this road is super super busy because they're all coming down there and crossing over into this section here and coming across to your commercial so you definitely need some more roads going from here to there um so i mean we could just even add just a couple of little bridges going over let's just go page up to there over the top connect that to there and we could even have another one Oh, it's getting so tight over here. Um, you've got this one that goes underneath. We could just connect that straight across there. That would be much better. Yeah, just to give them other options of where to go. And they might just stop using this road here all the time. There we go. And just a little roundabout there to keep things moving nicely. And that's already freed up this road. There's only a few parked cars on there. Some of them are taking this road. Some are taking this junction there. There we go. To get onto the highway. Yep. Working much, much better. What are we up to? Let's take a look. 74%. There's going to be somewhere that's given us... I mean, there's a lot of red road. This is still pretty busy. It's well used, but it is it is moving. I'm just wondering whether we could have a connection from here straight onto the highway rather than having to come through all of this. I mean, this seems to be the row that they like to attach to. So maybe we could just do that. Yeah, let's just add a... A slip road coming off of here. Let's just make sure this is set correctly. And just sort of wind this up this way. And it might just give people, excuse me, another option. Come on, I want to select that thing. It might just give people another option of where to go. Rather than all heading back through here again. Let's try that. Right, let's have a look around. See what else we can find. And we'll come back and check that. What's going on here? Lots of slowing down and turning. Well, you know what we're going to stick in here. Let's pop in. Maybe just make that a little bit smaller. Is that going to fit in? Yes, just. There we go. We can adjust this road here. So it doesn't look too bad. Is that going to help? Keep things moving. Why are you stopping there? 
Three lanes into very small amounts of lanes. That's what's going on there. All right, let's change that road. There we go. I just moved this track back that you've got here and just made it the a larger size. What did we go for? 40 in the end. And that's working much, much better. Yeah, much quicker. Very good. All right, let's have a look. Troubleshooting, troubleshooting. 72%. It's gone down. Hooray. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. Where I put this slip lane in, and they're coming in up here, I meant to actually do this. Let's just force them to go that way. There we go. Just so it doesn't clog this up. And then also we want to put uh, only one left-hand turning lane here. There we go. So that doesn't go straight on that turn's left. So they'll switch lanes beforehand. That'll stop people that need to keep going straight on. Just check that we've got the straight on, the straight on thing. <laughs> oh, look, they're doing hawky balky lane switching right in the middle there. That's fantastic. There we go. That's better. I've made it so they switch lanes a little bit further back. And then I should really do the same for this as well. Where are they coming in and going that way? Yeah, let's just send them right, just so it keeps the traffic moving along like that, rather than sending it down this way. And then we'll do the same thing here. We'll say uh, this left-hand lane, we only want to go left. That one goes straight on. And then we'll just stop you from switching right next to it. Let's have a look. Yeah, that will do like that. Just to keep things moving and spread out. There we go. It's all moving again. Fantastic. Okay, you've got Spruce Square over here. 75% by the way. It's not too bad, but just a little tip. You've got this whole area here. All these roads coming off. And they all lead to this main road. By the way, your trash coverage is pretty low at the moment we need to do something about that i'll do that in a second but if you just put some crossroads through here what roads are you using just the, let's use my mod here for picking the road and then i've got the same road there we go just the standard road just put some ways for them to get across sort of um let's go with this one and let's go for everything turned on there we go and just pop that through the middle there just to give them a chance uh, what is that that's like your main road just to give them a chance to get through and to connect in some different places and not bring all their traffic down to this one and only road that you've got there and then this way that it goes in and out i mean there and there i would maybe put a little highway we'll see how that goes uh what trash coverage do you have i think what you've got is you've only got yeah, these, and they're full up, and they're all emptying. So let's pop that there. Let's pop. You've got one next to that already. I'll pop a, th a few of these around the place and get your garbage processing up a little bit higher. Okay, so while everything is churning away a bit, we've got a lot of dump trucks going out and going around all over the place because there's a lot of things that need emptying and filling up and all sorts. Let's take a look at your transport. So something I've spotted, which is going to be causing a lot of problems, is the, the amount of vehicles that you've got. So when you place down a line, it assigns the amount of vehicles based on the stops and the distances rather than the amount of passengers that are waiting. So if we take a look at this line here, you've got barely any passengers waiting, which is good. You've got buses with like six people on, 150 spaces. Four people on, 30 spaces. You just don't need 24 buses. And that will take up a lot of the traffic. I'm wondering whether your budget's... Your budget's on 85%. So, I mean, I'm going to leave that as it is. But I'm going to adjust the amount of buses that we've got this way close thank you open this one here and i'm gonna say what is all the way down oh two nine twelve i mean i'm gonna halve it and i think that even that's gonna be more than enough to keep on top of the people this one here so you've got 20 people waiting at that stop buses that are half empty i would even halve that down to i say eight on that one uh, your train line, nine vehicles, 54 passengers, your tram line. So we saw our tram going round, do you remember? And that was taking up a valuable road space. So it goes round there. I'm assuming there's a stop around there somewhere. Yeah, with a nice path. It wiggles round here, crosses that road, goes all the way up here. And then in here, that is going to be causing issues. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But we just don't need that many that many trams on your tram line so let us have a look you got nobody waiting anywhere so that's good lots of half empty trams i would see if you go down to like four on there 
Um, your metro lines, not too bad. I mean, obviously, that's not going to be clogging up anywhere. But sometimes we need more metros. You've got 170 waiting on that one. Let's just see. See, when that one goes past, now this one's going to have a lot waiting. That's got to wait for that one. Five is probably okay. I would say maybe let's go for seven. They're not going to get in each other's way, so that'll be fine. This one, nobody waiting anywhere. We've got an empty one, a half empty one, an empty one. Just for the sake of money saving, I would drop that one down. Yep, yeah, and then beach link. People waiting, lots of people waiting. So I would put this one up. I would add another couple onto there. Excellent. Uh, train line you don't have. Ferry lines you don't have. Tourism district link. So what is that? Your blimp line. Okay, let's take a look at that. Whoa, people are loving the blimps. Look how many people are waiting for that. 300, 300. So you need more than four. They only take 35 each. And tons of people want to use those. <laughs> 16. Even that's probably not going to be enough. But I'm going to add those on. And we're going to see what happens. Where's your blimp depot? Because <laughs> they're all going to be... Here it, uh, yes, here we go. Blimp. Blimp, blimp. We are going to have blimps all over the place, bunching up until they get sorted out and spread out a bit. But that is certainly going to help with all of those people. And I don't think I mentioned it. I've now sort of deleted this road here just to force all of your cargo traffic to go down here. I put a little roundabout in so they can choose where they want to go. That has helped a lot because it's not feeding in all the huge amounts of industry tra traffic back into this roundabout and back down here again. And yeah, so that's working much better. We were 80% a minute ago, 80%, 79%. So that is going pretty good. Something I would add into your city is a nice big train line. Um, you've got this train line here. Does it come in anywhere else? I think that's it. But you could add... A nice external train loop just for passengers. I mean, you've got the space and put a stop up here, a stop up here, maybe an offshoot with a stop there and coming around here just to move your people about. Keep it separate from the external line. Is that... Oh, here we go. Look, the train line goes up here. Yes, you've got intercity trains coming in from other cities, which is fine. But yeah, have something for your inner city guys as well. There we go. The cargo... Oh, the cargo. The trash is being dealt with. It's getting better. I've got an auto-empty it mod on. So these are auto-emptying, auto emptying, which is causing some issues. But that's fine. That will sort of sort itself out. So we started off at... Was it 52 53%? And we've got it up to 80%. I think that's pretty good. With only a few sort of minor changes that I think uh, most people could probably use in their city. Would you like me to fix your city? Check out the pinned post below. Make sure you follow those steps. Send it to me on Twitter or in the comments. Don't email it to me. That's the way I want you to send it to me. Check out the other link on the screen as well. And I have got an absolutely killer amazing idea for the next video in this fix it series so keep your eyes peeled for that leave a like and i will see you guys and girls soon thank you for watching take care everybody bye bye